Why I brought this up is um, the fact that where I work at Creative, our database guys were complaining not about the Debian kernel per se, but the the Wheezy kernel, which is 3.2, and um, it's kind of considered not super great for for enterprise database workloads. So um, yes, um, Mike. What is um, VZ and a half? Because we had this edge and a half. Can you move it up? Dab, 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 dab. Hello? But it's on, right? Um, what is VZ and a half? Because we had edge and a half, but then we didn't have backports. So if you're now saying that the VZ kernel is too old, what's, why are you not using the backports kernel? Well, that's a good question. So. Um, In general, I think for some people it might be, so there's two things to this, right? First would be, um, within half would entail new installation media. So we don't do that with backports officially at least, as far as I know. Um, the other thing is giving it a bit more official um, status. So backports is official right now, but I think there are um, vendors or companies or, or people who don't really want to run backports uh, on their machines. You could say, and this is part of the conversation, that as soon as um, Jesse freezes um, backporting the Jesse kernel, it's probably good enough because it will be rather stable. So do we really need it? Um, this is actually a good question. So is there any more input on that? Yeah. So there's there's two differences that I uh, can, can, can identify between backport and a wheezy and a half. One of them is, as you say, uh, perception. If we tell somebody we're running Debian, so actually in, in Google Compute Engine, we, we offer Debian wheezy images, we offer Debian wheezy backports images uh, because of the new <laughs> kernel primarily and other performance benefits. Um, we, uh, you know, people don't know what backports means. It's not obvious. Uh, you know, we have to say, uh, well, the, 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 other, the other thing, there was security support. So right now we have to say, you know, if you care uh, about performance, use the backports image with the backports kernel. If you care about security, with the security support from the security team, run stable and have bad performance. Um, also, it would, you know, also uh, if, if we had, you know, the kernels, the neural kernel in uh, Wheezy, it could get both security support and not confuse people. Right. <coughs> Though, well, as soon as Jesse is released, it would have security support. And if we backport it fast enough, maybe. Yeah, please. Yeah, no, I was, uh, I, was uh, I think, trying to uh, formulate a response to that. And, and I think that the, um, the question is, what does the security team uh, actually support? Um, is the security team going to continue supporting the original uh, Wheezy kernels at that point, or does it only support the Wheezy and a half kernel? Uh, and is there a plan to deprecate the older one? Because uh, from the security team's point of view, speaking as a former member of it, um, you know, it's the manpower there is is very limited. Um, as it is, it relies the, the team relies largely on the the kernel team to actually do security work for the kernels. So, um, how you know how how do we make that easier? I guess is is the question that springs up for me. Right. So I don't think anybody of the active security team is here. And no. Yeah, I think w what? Sorry. All the kernel team. Or the kernel, or the kernel team. team. Right. But, yeah. <laughs> I um, think make if, all the decisions on their behalf right now. No, 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 it, it, no, no, no. If um, we do use the Jesse kernel as the basis for this, that'll make the security support a lot easier because there will be fewer, uh, you know, fewer uh, based horrible or based uh, source trees to work from, and only any differences in the backporting would uh, make that any harder. Um, it's also, I, I would, if the upgrade from standard Wheezy kernel to the upgraded kernel is harmless enough to users, which is not a guarantee. I would care less about deprecating the old one, but if we start with the Wheezy kernel, or the Jesse kernel, it's not as much of a burden as otherwise. Okay. 
any more? You want, you want to follow up on that? No. Right, yeah, that's, that's a good question. I think my gist would be that the security team shouldn't get a lot of more put on top of it, so we probably need somebody to maintain the uh, Weezy and half kernel, whereas the Weezy kernel should certainly still be supported security-wise. I think just deprecating it would not be a great idea. So, I mean, I'm not sure how everybody else is feeling, but so we would need to have additional people to do that. Um, I or some of my colleagues might be interested in stepping up to that. We are just looking at how is the general interest. I mean, if everybody says, you know, backport's fine enough, uh, we don't know. So this was kind of one of the reasons I wanted to have this conversation, right? So um, would it make sense? Yeah, Holger. I think <coughs> we could also just um, marketing or re t name name a release based with VZ backports as VZ and a half, because then we, uh, we the, the security support backports gets us from um, with new upstream versions. So. But just for the kernel, you mean? Just for the kernel, yeah. And well, what else do you want in a and a half release? Because you will always increase the uh, load on the security team because you will always need to support both versions. Right. So, well, if if the Weezy, I mean, you we all you already have to support Weezy and Jesse, at least for the Weezy. Um, timeline, right, for the support. There's already two. Um, and then it would be more or less like a backport into Weezy, uh, Weezy in half. So the hope is that the security team doesn't have a lot of extra effort. If And somebody else would take the Jesse security supported kernel and um, upload that to Weezy in half. <coughs> if you take, um, if you really release and under half and get them 316, you will need to support 316 for two years. If you just take the kernel, say the backports kernel, and then they later um, use upgrades to 318, you don't have to support 316 so long. But that's what yeah, I mean. But, but wait, but wait, Jesse will be 316. So no, I was in the Weezy and a half case. Oh. Yeah, but we would take the Weezy kernel. Uh, we would take the Jesse kernel, right? Uh, okay, so that's of course one of the like. Should we use the Red Hat Enterprise kernel? Should we use the upstream kernel? Should we use the unstable kernel? But I think, for me personally, I think sensible would be to take the Jesse kernel, which would be frozen anyway, and just get security support and put those back into Weezy, right? So that would be not so much effort, I think. Um, so you want to say something? Taking, uh, you know, if, if you know, what I think Holger was suggesting would, I think, Correct me if I'm wrong. You were suggesting that we sort of, for weeks and a half, we ongoing on an ongoing basis track uh, the backports kernel, or just call that the backports kernel weeks and a half. The the big problem there is security. Um, so, for example, right now in backports, if there's a security bug in the stable kernel, it's fixed pretty quickly. If there's a security bug in backports kernel, it can linger for days to weeks, as, depending on. I mean, they, they do try to, you know, update it pretty quickly in a case of a security issue, but uh, it's a best effort uh, matter, whereas with a security team, they are very good at being fast. Uh, so with, uh, if we want to ensure that Weezy and a half is at least close to that fast, maybe with a bit more lag time, uh, having something that's much closer to Jesse's kernel from the same source tree even, is going to be less disruptive to that effort than a moving target that doesn't have any security team focus on it, even in Jesse. And I guess, but OK, also no backports um, maintainer here. But I think the general gist would be that Weezy backports would not get anything beyond the Jesse kernel, I guess. I mean, because then testing is frozen, right? So it stays there. And as soon as Jesse is released, there would be Jesse backports, but Weezy backports would still um, pull from Jesse, so I think at least Weezy backports will not get anything beyond 316. That's my understanding. Um, does anybody have, have other I information? But I think that's so. In general, the, the backport it would basically be the same thing. I would say, it, it, and and then the point about security is, of course, that right now maybe the security is not so great, but as soon as Jesse is frozen and or almost released. Um, 
the security team will support it. So there might actually be the question of timing, of course, right? So reason half, what does that mean? Um, we are maybe one third into the lifetime of reason now, I think, or almost one half. So we would have to do it towards the end of the year, I would say. So after the freeze is useful, so we have the kernel, but there might be a window. I'm not sure where the security team is not yet um, supporting the Jesse kernel, and maybe it's useful to wait with, West, with, with the possible Weezy and half until it's actually security supported. Although, or we could say, well, we will put in the extra effort for a while and then just pull from the security team. I'm not sure. I mean, that's two possibilities. I mean, or does anybody have any input on, on the specific timing? I mean, I think, so Weezy was released in early May 2013. The Jesse freeze will be in early November. So if we think about a Jesse release, well, I don't know, in the fr late first or second quarter of 2015, um, that would mean that uh, Weezy will be supported until the late first or second quarter of 2016, right? Am I getting this right? Right, so um, that would mean late 2014, I guess, as a half, half time of, of, of Weezy, which kind of comes together with the um, Jesse freeze rate. So anybody have any input on, on that kind of specific timing is that they should do it after the Jesse release or or earlier, or um, not really, okay. So the other thing is, of course, what should be included in Weezy and Half? I mean, we talked about the kernel now. Um, is there any interest in also, well, I think if you backport the kernel, you also have to possibly backport a couple of kernel-related things which have kernel modules, and maybe their, their interface changes like the RVD. We came up with a couple of, Things I'm not sure I have them right now. I mean, DRBD was the one that we came up with, uh, which is quite high profile. There might be a couple of others. Pacemaker, I'm not sure. Um, the other question is, is anybody interested? So, okay, so if, say, we are interested in working on that side and there is interest in Debian in general, so some, or maybe does the stable release manager want to say something first? You're not going to comment, okay. Um, so, it, if, if we say, okay, we, we will put the uh, effort in, but we will consider ourselves only really interested in kernel. Is anybody interested in, in the graphics stack? So having a newer, newer graphics stack, as, because we had that in, in, in Edge and Noah's uh, Edge and Half, also had a new graphics stack, I believe. I don't see that, so maybe, um, maybe that works well enough for everybody. Maybe they or maybe they could just upgrade to Jesse, yeah. It's true. So it might be more of a headless server kind of uh, thing, yeah. We start getting bug reports in Tails about uh, graphics drivers that are not working so well on Wizzy and would be solved by, with the graphics stack in Jesse. So. <coughs> I'd be interested in seeing XORG backports or in Wizzy in her half, but that's... You don't have the manpower. Yeah, okay. quite some work. Okay. You? Yeah. <coughs> I'm not sure I understood. Did you say that uh, Tails already does that? Has the XORG backport? Okay. No, there are bug reports which would have been fixed by an XORG backport. But... And how fast would Tails go to Jesse, you think, after? So also not really, I mean, it would be useful to at least some derived distributions, apparently, right? Okay. So any other, yeah. Yeah, there's also a few other minor packages that are related to allowing the new kernel to perform fully or uh, fixing performance related bugs at the hardware related layer, such as, for example, Weezy's IRQ balance. Uh, so the newer kernel uh, supports uh, multi queue networking and Verdeo net, which is relevant for our environment. And uh, however, IRQ balance in Weezy cannot effectively set uh, IRQ affinity. So we, we've been having to do it manually in a 
startup logic that we've added. Uh, the Weezy backports and Jesse version is totally fine. There was a bug in the old version. So a few random packages like that may be worth considering as well, okay. even though it's not a strict kernel dependency. Any other, any other input? Comments? Okay, so maybe as a, as a quick poll, like, would anybody be interested in actually investing some work into making it happen? Not really, okay. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe backports is good enough, right? So, um, yeah, I wanted to, was that a, what a, okay. Um, <clears throat> the idea of also providing installation media sounded good, but then with the release date of basically a few months before Jesse, it's basic pointless, basically, I think. It was really different with Edge and a half when there was no backports as well. It's mm. true, sure. yeah. Okay, I'll write that down. Well then, I guess that was a small session because, I mean, or is there any, any further uh, input? I'm not aware of Anything. So it, it seems apparently that generally it would be interesting, but backwards is kind of okay. Not a lot of maybe maybe somebody will watch the stream and say, "Hey, I'm super interested. Sign me up," and then we will think about it. I mean, if there are some compatibility issues in stable with newer kernels, those packages could conceivably be fixed in stable as well. Right, but if well, there, there's also the thing that if it's if it's so in, un, incompatible that it doesn't work with the Weezy kernel anymore, the old Weezy kernel, what do you do then? Don't, you don't think so? The case, I, the case I mentioned would work, okay. but it's, it, it would fix the new version, so we'd have to see if there's a minimal commit or not. Okay, then if there's no further input, uh, I think that's it then, I'm sorry.